Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm going to show you how to set up the face cam feature on your hotpad capture. If you're having a little bit of trouble trying to figure out how to make it work, uh, this might be useful for you. Also, if you're still using Showbiz, I recommend you to download the, the hotpad capture because it's official uh, capturing software from uh, hotpod. Also, if you're using the, um, the oldest software, uh, version I recommend you to download this one so you can try the face cam feature it's actually a really cool feature that is gonna save you a lot of time while uh, when you have when editing videos you know to add the face cam the face cam feature to your to your recording uh, gameplay so very easy to do uh, you're gonna just you're just gonna start your hop capture like you always do you're gonna go to settings on settings you're gonna notice a new box right here that says webcam settings uh, before you start you have to make sure you um, your computer uh, meets the uh, minimum specification requirements otherwise you're gonna you're not gonna be able to enjoy the software or, or the, the new feature that the hotpot capture offers when you already have your cameras uh, connected you're gonna go right here on this little drop down menu and you're gonna click it and you're gonna find your camera if you have a, if you have a uh, built-in camera like I do it'll show right there or if you have any other camera it has to show right there if it's working properly so you're gonna do that and right away it's gonna give you this uh, minimum system requirements right here uh, you have to make sure you have at least an i3 processor a uh, uh, an, um, an Intel an Intel Core i3 you have to make sure you have at least that uh, at least 2.0 uh, 2.0 gigahertz and uh, make sure you have a good graphics card uh, any AMD processor that is equivalent to that or that will be kind of like the minimum of uh, processing power that you need so if you do go ahead and click yes and the device is gonna restart. It only takes a few seconds. Uh, you're gonna notice that some of your or of your settings changed. Right when you click yes, um, your camera light notification is gonna it's gonna turn on if you have one of those on your camera. Uh, but everything's gonna change, and depending on your computer, you either leave them the way they're set up, or you can change them. In this case, on video decoding for me, went from full video to iframe, and that's gonna happen to everyone. Uh, the hardware acceleration, it's, it's checked. Uh, right here, you on, on the webcam settings, you get the face cam position and then the size of the, not pretty much the size, but the ratio of the window for the face cam. You can do letterbox or you can do widescreen. So 43 or 69. Uh, you can move the location to wherever you want and the size uh, the size I think the default that they offer is pretty good so I, I actually don't move that and you got your simulation and your low resource mode so click leave that uh, in my in my case I have a an Intel Core i5 so in my case I can leave this on if you have a little bit of problems because you have the uh, minimal requirements uh, try to check tr try to uncheck this now when you already have everything set up you already said yes you meet you meet the minimum requirements go back to capture go back to capture and you're gonna notice that you read a quality and when you read a quality the megabits per second uh, went from 14 to 850 if you had it on 14 which is the highest quality it went from a from 14 to 850 in my in my case that's what it did now, if you have a i3 processor, I recommend you to leave the um, I recommend you to leave the settings the way they are when you activate the camera. Just leave it like that, and you won't have any problems. If if you find yourself having problems, then uh, try to do try to uncheck the low resource mode right here. But I'm pretty sure it's gonna I'm pretty sure it's gonna it's gonna be okay if it's on. Now going back to capture, going back to capture, uh, when you're looking at my camera, you can see a lag. Now that it's intentional, the, ve the developers lower the amount of processing power that the face cam preview uses. So they did a little bit laggy, 
uh, that way it doesn't use a lot of processing power. Now, for those that have an i5 uh, uh, processor and, I, and an i7, uh, you're actually able to put the video quality a little bit high. Uh, but for that, for that, you're gonna want to go to 14 megabits per second. And remember, that's only for people that have uh, more than the minimum requirement. So if you have an i5 processor with uh, at least uh, three gigahertz of boost, you're gonna be able to do that. If you have an i7, you'll, ha you'll have no problem doing this. So rank it up to the 14 megabits per second. The device is gonna restart. You're still gonna notice a little bit lag. So you go back to your settings and from iframe, go to full video. And that's working for me with an i5 processor. Like I said before, if you have an i3 processor, just leave the settings the way they are and you're not gonna have any problem. And as you can see right now, my video is actually not laggy anymore and it's responding uh, as the, the, the way it should be. So that's actually pretty good. I'm gonna show you right now uh, a little bit of the video. If you haven't downloaded this version, uh, I will leave a link in the description so you can download it and start, you know, start testing the feature. Uh, like I said, it's very useful because it'll save a lot of edit editing time. And uh, if you want to see a whole video with the face cam feature, uh, I have a little bit of Outlast gameplay. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check that out. But let's check out a real cool video on, on how it looks. So this is how the recording is going to be. If you get a little bit lag while recording, don't worry about it. At the end, the final video will be perfectly synced and it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to look good. If you have a high definition camera, I actually don't. If you do, the video is going to look amazing and everything is going to be synced like it should be. Uh, I want to thank, thank the guys at Hopak for giving us this cool feature that it's really, really going to be a, a time saver. And uh, if you haven't downloaded, like I said before, the link's in the description so you can try it. There's gameplay in the description so you guys can check out uh, a whole gameplay video to see everything actually comes out really good. And uh, if you found this helpful, you know, press the, uh, the like button and uh, share it with your friends. If you know somebody's having a hard time trying to figure this out, you share it with them. And uh, man, I, I really, really appreciate it if you guys subscribe. That would actually make me really happy. Thank you very much for watching and stay posted for the next video.